How Western leaders and media are justifying Israel's genocidal campaign against Palestinians. The recent war in the Gaza Strip has once again shone a spotlight on the Israeli-Palestinian war, a decades-long struggle that has left countless lives shattered and entire communities in ruins. As the world watches in horror, it's essential to scrutinize the narratives that are shaping our understanding of the war, especially those promulgated by Western leaders and media outlets. One of the most disturbing trends is the way in which Western leaders and some media outlets have justified what is being called a genocidal campaign against Palestinians. This terminology is not used lightly, but it is employed by many due to the disproportionate use of force and the civilian casualties that have resulted from Israeli military operations in the Gaza Strip. So, how are these actions being justified? 1. Security Concerns Israeli leaders often cite security concerns as the primary justification for military operations in Gaza. They argue that these actions are necessary to protect Israeli citizens from rocket attacks. While national security is a legitimate concern for any country, the extent and scale of the Israeli military response raise questions about proportionality. 2. Self-defense. Self-defense is a fundamental right of any nation and Israel argues that it is merely defending itself against Hamas rocket attacks. However, the stark disparity in casualties between Israel and Gaza suggests a disproportionate use of force. The death toll and destruction in Gaza far outweigh what Israel has suffered. 3. Terrorism Label Western media often label Palestinian militant groups like Hamas as terrorist organizations. While these groups have used violence in the past, it is essential to recognize that the context in which they operate is one of occupation and a lack of political and economic autonomy. 4. Historical narratives. The historical narratives propagated by Western leaders and media tend to emphasize Israel's right to exist and downplay the Palestinian experience of displacement, dispossession, and occupation. This one-sided narrative can skew public perception of the war. 5. Double standards. Critics argue that Western governments, including the United States, provide substantial military and financial support to Israel while turning a blind eye to alleged human rights violations. This perceived double standard fuels anger and disillusionment. 6. Silencing dissent. In some Western countries, there are instances where criticism of Israeli policies is labeled as anti-Semitic, effectively stifling any nuanced discussion of the war. It is crucial to emphasize that the aim is not to vilify any nation or people but to foster a comprehensive understanding of the complexities and human costs of the Israeli-Palestinian war. It is in the best interest of all parties, as well as the international community, to seek a peaceful and just resolution that respects the rights and dignity of all people in the region. As Western citizens and global observers, it is our duty to question and critically examine the narratives that shape our perspectives and to advocate for a peaceful, negotiated solution to this long-standing war.